realize you were still working for Waller. You're a security guard or something? I work for no one. You've infiltrated a government base, and it's time for you to leave. You've been gone a while, Batman. The criminals of Gotham have been growing stronger. Preparing. So have I. Why were Joker's goons protecting the two of you? Oh, you haven't heard. Joker is King of Gotham again. He's been recruiting. About everyone works for him now, except for Penguin. Enough talking, Croc. Let's kill him. We both know how this is gonna go, Batman. Send me to Arkham, and in a few months there'll be a jailbreak. I'll be back on the streets, along with all the villains you're too noble to kill. We'll see. While you're in Arkham, let all your friends know that Batman is back. And as long as I'm here, the cells of Arkham are safer than the streets of Gotham for men like you. Hello, this is Clark Kent from the Daily Planet. Uh, I'd like to make an inquiry about an upcoming trial. Yes, I'm just calling to make sure there haven't been any unexpected changes involving Mr. Lex's current trial. Why, why yes ma'am, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are very curious and uh, very, very anxious to find out what, what's gonna happen, but um, I was just calling to make sure. Yes, yes ma'am, I understand, I understand. Uh, thank you very much, and have a wonderful day. Barry, my friend. How you doing? I'd invite you to grab a drink at the Warriors Bar, but I'm assuming you're here on superhero business. Yeah, and unfortunately it's pretty urgent. So, I mean, I met a Martian the other day and... Go on. I'm gonna be honest, I was expecting more of a reaction out of that Martian piece. Barry, do you know how many aliens I see regularly? Yesterday, I've been an alien whose head is never not exploded. Like, it's always just... Okay, we're... Definitely gonna have to go back and revisit that. But this Martian guy, he and some other Earth heroes are putting together a team, and they need you. Barry, I'm already part of the team. Have you heard of the Anti-Monitor? Yeah, I have. Don't tell me. He's coming to this Earth soon, and we need your help, pal. Oh, there's some super cool people here. We got, you know, Wonder Woman, Superman, Aquaman, Batman. Oh, Batman? I've always wanted to meet that guy. Thinks he's so cool. Hey, I'm Batman. <laughs> you you should do that impression for him. I'm sure he'd love it. Here's to beginning anew. As the old Atlanteans said, may the winds of the past help our ships sail into the future. God, you are so dramatic. Seeing Atlantis full of people again brings me so much hope, Nubia. But also so much fear. Why is that, man? I fear that my leadership will be insufficient. After all this time chasing the crown, what if I'm not a good enough king? Why would you fail? You've been waiting for this for years. It's your time. Maybe Volko should take the trident and rule Atlantis. He knows the kingdom far better than I do. You're the son of the queen, so I don't know what choice you have. Speaking of the queen, I may have found her. You found my mother? Yeah. 
I did. Although you are from another Earth, so you're technically not her son. Although on this Earth, Arthur was technically killed by her other son, Orm. Well, I defeated Orm. After I restored the kingdom, he came along trying to steal the throne. But I did not allow him to do so. So you do want to be king? I want to, Nubia. I just... I don't know if I deserve to. Nobody deserves it more, man. Thank you for helping Volko and I find our people. I sincerely hope you find yours. You're cool, I think I see it. I'll be right back. Nubia? Um, how do you know my name? Only an Amazon can see the mascara. And besides me, you're the only Amazon left. What? I don't like to relive it, but we were ambushed by a dark god. Ares? He was the one that stole me from this place when I was young. No, not Ares. Someone else. The same being that killed the Atlanteans. Sorry about that. No, I'm sorry for you. I wish you could have met them. At least after all of this time, we got to meet. Our mother sacrificed herself to save me. She always helped you and I. Our mother? Wait, you're Diana. Yeah, it's me. Okay, I need to know about this guy who, like, wiped out the Muscura and Atlantis. Like, who is he? His name is... Darkseid. Justice League, the time is now. We must unite. Wow, I did not want to be the first one here. This is a little bit awkward. All good, Barry. Nothing wrong with being fashionably early. Hello, everyone. Pleasure to meet you. All right, so everybody's here. Now everybody's here. Nubia, I wasn't sure you'd really show up. You convinced me, Arthur. It's time for a change. Hmm. Let's hope this team brings much needed change to the world. I'm afraid we may have to forego introductions. We have no time to waste. So what's the mission, John? You told me we were forming an alliance. Against who? The Anti-Monitor, a robotic god who destroys worlds in his search for the Anti-Life Equation. Yeah, this equation would give him control of all free will. And I like my free will. An equation? Where is it hidden? I don't know. I've spent most of my lifetime on Mars and Earth. In my 400 years, I've heard very little of this anti-life equation. Look, Bats, it's not some chemical equation you can cook up in your cave. It's literally embedded inside of a planet. If he harvests it, we're all doomed. Who is the wise guy? Name's Hal. It's weird seeing you in the daylight. I almost thought you were a vampire. <laughs> God, I knew this team was a bad idea. No, Batman. We need this team. We can't defeat threats like the Anti-Monitor alone. Speak for yourself. This thing has decimated galaxies, Batman. You can't just throw a battering at it. Oh, you're right. You'll just conjure up some magic light, and that'll do the trick. They're called constructs. Anything in your little belt over there, I can create with a thought. Gentlemen, please. We do not have time for this. So how soon will the Anti-Monitor be here? His soldiers, the Manhunters, have already arrived. They're terminating all emotion-based lifeforms they can find. All emotion-based lifeforms? That's everyone! Well, not everybody. Clearly the vampire over here doesn't feel anything. I just know how to remain focused. You ought to learn to do the same, Lantern. Alright, I'm kind of fed up with your superiority complex. I know you're used to being feared by everybody, but my whole thing is having no fear. You're not that special, Batman. Funny you should mention that. How many Green Lanterns are there? Oh, I know this one. 7,200. Oh, I wasn't supposed to. Sorry. 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 Look, all you guys are awesome. And I know I don't necessarily have the authority to make demands here, but we gotta get moving now. Did you hear, Jean? The Manhunters are trying to kill all humans. The Flash is right. We need to stop them. Wonder Woman, come with me. 
together, we can take out a lot of them. Side mission with Superman, sweet! I'll go find and destroy any manhunters below the sea. I must defend Atlantis. I'll go to Ella, see if we can get the core on our side. And I assume Batman over here will be going to Transylvania. I'll go to the Batcave and see what I can find out about the manhunters. Maybe there's a way to deactivate them remotely. Okay, and what about me? I mean, I fought a manhunter before, but I don't think I'll be much use in a big battle. Flash, don't underestimate yourself. You are just as powerful and capable as every other member of this team. Flash can come with me. He's the only other scientist in the group. Maybe together, we can find their weaknesses. So you're saying I get to ride in the Batmobile? Yes. So does anybody know how many manhunters there actually are? Like, what are the odds we just take them all down? Hopefully Batman and Flash can determine the size of the army. I'm hoping our team of gods among men will be enough. It will be. It must be. I have this sword, by the way, if uh, anybody wants it. The God Killer? That, that sword belonged to the Amazons. Went Well, I'll, I'll take it. Here you go. All right, let's move. Don't touch that. Computer, show me the location of every Manhunter currently on Earth. Wait, is it really that easy? Decades of engineering made it that easy. Gotcha. Oh? Snap, that's a lot of evil robots. Yes, it is. Computer, show me what the Manhunter's exterior armor is made of. Whew, those look like some strong alloys. You said you beat a Manhunter once. How'd you do it? I dismantled his head piece by piece. It took a little under a second, I guess, because I was traveling faster than the speed of light, but it was still difficult. Superman, Wonder Woman, and Aquaman should have no issue defeating them. It's the sheer quantity I'm worried about. There's hundreds already on Earth, and surely more to come. So do you have any, like, gadgets that might send out, like, an EMP or something? Nothing with the range we need. Computer, show me where the Manhunters get their power. It seems like something off-world is transferring power to them. It's like they're all extensions of... Wait, that, that's that got to be the Anti-Monitor. So the Anti-Monitor is the source of the Manhunter's power. If we destroy it, all the robots go down. Yeah, the problem is that we're trying to destroy one of the most powerful things in existence. So, I mean, when do you think it'll arrive? By the looks of it, soon. So, do you, like, live down here? No. This place is for training, researching, and building. I live elsewhere. And, uh, where's that? I suppose if we're going to save the world together, I can tell you. I live in Wayne Manor. I'm Bruce Wayne. No way. I thought you were just some lonely guy that broods in a cave all day. You're like a celebrity. Everybody loves you. You... You must never be lonely. Right. Never. No man escapes the Manhunters. You think that's all in this area? Looks like it's me. I couldn't help but notice, Nubia, that when you mentioned the Amazons, you were- Yeah, I just found out that I'm one of the last ones. All of my people were killed. I'm sorry. I mean, it hurts less because I never knew them, but I always dreamt that one day I'd get the chance to meet them. I know your pain. I'm the last of my kind. I never would have guessed. You, like, you always seem so strong. Like, you have everything together. When I put on this suit, I become a symbol. I can't let this world see a man overwhelmed with grief. I have to be better. A hero people can look up to. Someone to channel their hope. Maybe it wouldn't be the worst thing if you showed that heroes hurt too. Maybe. It seems like everyone in the League has lost something. Someone. Jean, Arthur, you and I have each lost our entire civilizations. And Batman, Flash, and Lantern, they lost their families. 
Maybe we're just a bunch of broken people. Maybe. Being part of the League. In a way. Can make us whole again. by father's lighthouse. I wasn't sure if you'd find it. Somehow it made its way to me. I knew when I saw it, Atlantis was returning. And then your friend found me and told me you were the new king. Yes, I am. But I don't know if I can be mother. Of course you can be king, son. Who else could rule Atlantis? You. You were the queen before. Why don't you return? The people would embrace you. No, son. The people need a new leader. Someone who can guide them into the future, not just return things to how they always were. What if I can't? Will you rule Atlantis if I'm unable to? Arthur, I failed them in the past. I couldn't stop Darkseid. Who? Darkseid. You didn't know? He was the one who destroyed old Atlantis. No, who is Darkseid? What was his motive? He's one of the most feared names in the multiverse. Some call him a god. He destroyed our home when he came looking for the anti-life equation. So the anti-monitor isn't the only one searching for the equation? No. Why have you requested our attention, Lantern Jordan of Sector 2814? Something is threatening my home world. The anti-monitor. I think you guys might know a thing or two about it. Yes. The Anti-Monitor is a celestial being, capable of transforming worlds into antimatter. It was created eons ago by a rogue guardian known as Krona. Yeah. Thanks for that. We are not responsible for Krona's actions, Lantern Jordan, but we will gladly provide your planet with extra protection. We're gonna need a lot of it. It's not just the Anti-Monitor either. There's a whole army of Manhunters. Do you know anything about them? Yes. The Manhunters were the soldiers of the Guardians before we decided to tap into the green light of willpower and create the Green Lantern Corps. You guys sure make a lot of things that turn evil. We understand that the Manhunters were a flawed creation. The Guardians have evolved beyond making such errors, hence why the Green Lantern Corps serves so effectively as defenders of the cosmos. Right. So you'll send some GL reinforcements to Earth to help out with the crisis? Absolutely. But we must warn you of something else. Ganthet! He cannot know. He must know. But it is all just speculation. We agreed to only inform our lanterns if the prophecy came to fruition. Okay, come on guys. You can't not tell me now. There is a prophecy in the Book of Oa. It is known as the Blackest Night. It states that one day, Necron, ruler of the undead, shall create a Black Lantern Corps fueled by death and it will consume the universe in darkness. A Black Lantern Corps? As if the whole damn rainbow wasn't enough? We share your sentiments. A Black Lantern Corps would upset the balance of the emotional spectrum. So why are you telling me about this prophecy now? The prophecy was written by Krona. He believed that the creation of the Black Lantern Corps would coincide with the Anti-Monitor's rise to power. Of course, Krona was a madman, and it would be foolish to not place any doubt in his words. And on the off chance he was right, and we have two universe-threatening bad guys on our hands... Then it would be wise to form an alliance between all seven Lantern Corps. The only way to drive out the darkness of the Black Lanterns would be with the combined light of the entire emotional spectrum. We did not want to form an unprecedented alliance over a mere prophecy, but with the Anti-Monitor as a threat to your world, we must take action. As they say on Earth, Godspeed, Lantern Jordan. My soldiers, what have you found? The anti-life equation is on Earth 100. Are you certain? Absolutely. We have detected it somewhere within the surface of Earth. 
Its exact location eludes us. Then I will come and retrieve it personally. The Protectors of Earth-100 are relentless. Seven superhumans have formed an alliance to defend the planet. I have vanquished armies of thousands. I have obliterated countless worlds. I have absorbed galaxies and transformed them into nothingness. No alliance of mortals can pose a threat to me. I am the Anti-Monitor, and soon I shall be the sole commander of the multiverse. There will be glorious order. I know you wanted me to have a life better than the one I've given myself. I could have just carried on the family business. Could have started a family of my own. I could have been happy. But here I am, I've been putting myself through hell in Gotham for nearly 20 years. And I don't know if a damn thing I did had a lasting impact. I have no love in my life, no joy. And now the world might be coming to an end, and I'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure it doesn't, but if it does, if it does, then nothing I did ever mattered. None of this ever mattered. You two set me up to have a perfect life. Maybe I should have lived it. What are you doing here, Clark? I came to tell you, the Manhunters are dormant. Some of them even left Earth. I know. Why do you think that is? I think they're in contact with the Ansi Monitor, reporting their findings to him. And no matter what, I fear we're in for a war. Your parents. I'm sorry. It is what it is. It's okay to miss them. No matter how old you are. We... We grow around grief. But no matter what, it's still there. You lost your parents too, didn't you? Your whole world. Yes. I never got the chance to know them. How can you carry all that weight and still be you? I carry that weight by being me. I have all this power, but I can't bring back Krypton. So instead, I try to make sure this world doesn't share the same fate. I certainly hope it doesn't. Bruce, the truth is, we're both vulnerable people pretend we're invincible for the sake of others. Or maybe just for ourselves. I suppose so. Your parents would be proud of you. So am I. Yeah. Same goes for you. Okay. Lex Luthor just escaped from prison. Brother! I had a feeling today would hold some surprises, but I did not expect you to be stopping by. 
It's a pleasure to see you, old friend. I bet I catch you, St. Walker. I assume Paradise is treating you well? Odom is certainly a lovely place. However, I spend most of my time off-world, spreading hope to other corners of my sector. The most fulfilling life is one spent bringing peace to others. Well, I work to use a little bit of that hope and peace right now. Oh dear. It seems something dreadful is always afoot on Earth. What is it this time, brother? There's a being, threatening to destroy our world. It's looking for an ancient power. One that would enslave all of existence. Well, that is quite unfortunate indeed. Fear not, you have the full support of the Blue Lantern Corps. Thanks. But before you send reinforcements on Earth, you mind visiting the Indigos and the Violets? Try and see if they'll join our fight. I'll be busy with the warmer side of the spectrum. I will happily do so, but I didn't realize this was a matter requiring the aid of all seven Lantern Corps. Well, the Guardians mentioned some prophecy. The Blackest Night. If worst comes to worst, we're gonna need the full Rainbow Rodeo to in this war. There are always dark powers at play in the universe. When they show their fearsome faces, we need only shine a light. What does my estranged daughter want from me? I'm ridding my system of you. I'm getting you out of my mind. You cannot escape me, Nubia. I taught you everything you know. You only taught me hurt and pain. I taught you how to brave this dark world. I prepared you. By robbing me of joy and making me suffer. You have to suffer to become strong. The Amazons never suffered. They sat in their palaces, believing themselves prepared for anything, until a real threat came onto their island and wiped them all out. There is more to life than war. But you wouldn't understand. War is the natural state of the world. Peace is a rarity. That's how we're different. Yeah, you embrace war, and I embrace peace. I will fight until peace is the natural state of this world. You will never bring peace to this world, and you will never have peace yourself, my foolish daughter. You are not my father, and I will never listen to your lies. I accept that you are a part of my past, but I will not allow you to define my future. No. No! anywhere in the universe, and yet you have chosen to stand here before me. Believe me, Sinestro. It wasn't much of a choice. Then tell me, what has forced your hand? The Anti-Monitor. He's a- I'm familiar with the Anti-Monitor, Jordan. Crota forged that machine here on Quard. I even used some elements of his design when creating my own Yellow Lantern Corps. Then you know how powerful this thing is. I hate to say it, but Earth needs your help. As much as I would love to revel in the satisfaction of you asking for my help, I have far better things to do than supply aid to your pathetic world. If the Green Lantern Corps isn't prepared to stop one single planetary threat, I pray you realize I was right about them all along. It's not just the anti monitor It's Necron. The ruler of the undead? I assumed he was just a legend. According to an old Guardian prophecy, Necron might be making a new Lantern Corps, one fueled by death. The Guardians are a lot of self-righteous fools. I have no doubt their prophecies are as flawed as everything else they've created. They made the Green Lantern Corps. My point exactly. I regret every day that I worked as a slave to their faulty notion of justice. You're no more than a number to those immortals, Jordan. Surely you know by now that you're one of several pawns meant to create the illusion of order in your sector. And the pity is you could have been so much more. You could have been a legendary Yellow Lantern. And, you know, you could have not been a fascist, but here we are. It is the greatest wish of every master to see their apprentice outgrow them. But sadly, you have just regressed while I have grown more powerful by the day. Enough of this, Sinestro. The Anti-Monitor poses a threat to all of existence. And so does Necron, if he's really out there. I doubt these claims are half as severe as you say. But then again, you must be quite desperate to come here. I will visit Earth with my lanterns if it's truly in the interest of order. But if you're lying, Jordan, there will be hell to pay.
Yes. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'll tell him. It's done. Penguin and Riddler are dead. Joker used his newfound weapon to finish the job. That's the last of the competition then. We have control of the city now. Is this really what we need? What? Do we need all this power? Joker convinced us we have no choice but to help him. But what if we do have a choice? It's too late, Shiva. We can't start over now. It's never too late. Yes, it is. Batman. You gave up your chance at a new life when you decided to work for a terrorist. We worked for him because we had nothing after the Convergence. Joker offered us everything. The Convergence hurt a lot of people. That's no excuse. Do you really want to do this again, Batman? Of course I do. Come on, Barry. You gotta move faster. Move faster than anyone else has ever moved. Come on. Come on. You're just as good as the rest of them. Don't doubt yourself. You run faster than light. You can travel through the multiverse. You got this. You're the Flash. I'm the damn Flash. Why are you here, Earthman? What do you want from me? I'm not here to ask for anything from your collection. I need a favor, Lord Fleece. Hmm. A favor is one of the few things I'm occasionally willing to give. I'll never give you my shinies, but I might give you my time. I have so much time. Well, maybe you could spend a bit of it helping me. If there were any other Orange Lanterns, I would go to them. But there's just you. Long story short, Everyone in the multiverse is in danger. We need to unite all the lanterns. Do you know how long I've been alive? <laughs> no, I don't. Billions of years, Earthman. Billions! I've found that people come and go. The only thing that stays around forever is stuff. What do I stand to gain from saving anyone? One of the people you'd be saving is yourself. If we lose, you won't be able to enjoy your horde. Hmm. I will help. But I want one more thing in exchange. I don't have a lot to offer, Larflees. I'm just one Green Lantern. You can offer me your ring. If I help you, I want a green power ring for my collection. Fine. And a plate of rat waffle cheese. <laughs> what? What is that? Rat waffle cheese. Yeah, yeah all right. I'll do my best. You're bold to request an audience with me, Green Lantern. It's rare that one of your ranks leaves Ismalt alive. I'm not here seeking any conflict. I need your help resolving one. The Red Lantern Corps was not created to resolve conflicts. We exist to take vengeance. Each member of my Corps has suffered horribly. The Red Light of Rage grants them the power to right every wrong inflicted upon them. Well, you're in luck. This one's personal for you. Go on. The world's being attacked by Manhunters. The same Manhunters that, if I'm not mistaken, destroyed your sector. You have tremendous nerve mentioning the slaughtering of my people. You would already be incinerated if I was not curious about your proposition. The Manhunters are connected to one power source, the Anti-Monitor. If we bring it down, every Manhunter falls. You have your vengeance, the universe is saved. Destroying the Manhunters will be undoubtedly satisfying. I will join you, but I shall only have true vengeance once the Guardians have paid for their crimes.
What's happening, John? The Manhunters have reactivated. Should we disperse again? No. They are all headed toward the same coordinates. Here. Wait, did Flash carry Batman here? And how does that work? The fate of the multiverse is at stake, and that's your focus, Lantern. Can you just do your job? I'll have you know I traveled the universe and met with some very dangerous people. There's more at play here than even you realize, Batman. Now is not the time to be divided, guys. Like, really, we are all such a vital part of this team. We've all felt the pain of losing our loved ones, our friends, our people. But this group is staying together. Y'all are my new family. Wonder Woman is right. We must remain united for the sake of the multiverse. Today, may the losses of our past inspire us to save the future. Look, guys, we're the last line of defense. Countless other worlds have failed. And if we fail, then... I won't lie to you. I am afraid. I'm afraid to see any planet, especially this one, end up like Krypton. But my faith is stronger than my fear. And I believe. I believe in us. Let's save the world. Protectors of Earth, I am the Anti-Monitor. Your world is home to the Anti-Life Equation. It is embedded in the very ground beneath Gotham City. I will eliminate you, harvest the power of the Equation, and then enslave your population and the rest of existence. You may resist, but submitting now will save you from a painful demise. The Justice League does not submit. Then the Justice League chooses death. Manhunters, kill them. Time to teach these androids how to fear. These monsters may not remember my face, but they will soon remember my fury. Green Lanterns! Today's battle will forever be remembered in the Book of Oa. Today, our will is the only way. Quite the cavalry you gather here, Hal. I really didn't expect to have them in the show. I mean, I'm glad they did. I mean, how are we going to bring down the anti-monitor? He's not even noticing us. We need to try a different approach. Believe it or not, I've reasoned with tyrannical robots before. Anti-monitor, is there any way we can persuade you to retreat? Absolutely not. You cannot persuade a sun to stop burning. You cannot persuade a black hole to stop enveloping everything in its path. Claiming the anti-life equation is my sole reason for existing. It will be mine. Why? What will you gain from ridding the multiverse of free will? I will gain order. The basis of all conflict is emotion. Ridding existence of emotion-based choices will end all suffering. 
but it will also kill joy and hope and love. What is the point of a flawless universe if no one is there to reap the rewards? To live. How pitifully optimistic of you, Superman, to believe you can persuade a robot to stop the objective it's been pursuing for millennia. Lex, what are you doing here? I heard the apocalypse was on its way. Figured I'd throw together a league of my own to help prevent it. This world is my playground to cause mayhem and madness. It'll be a lovely day in Gotham before I allow it to be taken from me. The Yellow Ring chooses those who can instill great fear. That's why you've been so powerful lately. Oh yes, it's the perfect weapon for me. Used it to kill uh, Enigma and Cobblepot. You should have heard the little bird scream. <laughs> He begged to be spared, but it was only fitting that his story ended the way it began. With me. Powering or not, I'm taking you in when this is all over. If we both survive, Bruce, do your worst. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'd say things are going pretty well, all things considered. I'd say we got enough manpower to win this thing. It's best not to speak too soon, but I have to agree the odds are in our favor. Side, Lord of Apocalypse, and I welcome you to the end of your world. Dark Side, you killed my people and the Amazons. Indeed, I have spent eons searching the multiverse for the anti life equation. I visited this world once before and destroyed the most heavily fortified places on the planet, but I did not find my prize. I overlooked its true location here. You killed my people. For nothing. You needn't end up like them if you join my ranks now. It is best you pledge your loyalty before your very soul is drained from you and your mindless body becomes a soldier to my righteous cause. I suppose the Anti-Monitor didn't tell you. But the Justice League serve no one above the people of Earth. The Anti-Monitor was a mere tool of mine. I allowed it to journey across the stars, searching for anti-life, so that I could arrive at the proper moment and claim it for myself. Unbeknownst to the Metal Titan, its very destiny was to die, so that I may rule, and, ironically, your destiny is the same. Our destiny is what we choose. You space gods don't seem to understand. We were made to decide what we are made for. How poetic, and how untrue. League, advance! Lanterns, let's go! Legion, attack!
I have a lot of questions, Lex. My strength comes from a drug I developed to replicate Kryptonian abilities for short periods of time. Yes, I did violate many laws by breaking these criminals out of prison, but I genuinely believe they can help in this fight, and I reprogrammed Brainiac to do my bidding, so he's on our side. Our side? Never thought I'd see the day. We share very few things in common, Cal, but one of those things happens to be the desire to see the world not destroyed. I have little time left here, and I want to make a difference while I can. We might have more in common than you believe. Brainiac, to think you were once feared across the multiverse. Now a barren shell. Allow me to relieve you of your burdensome existence. I must say, Jordan, I had my doubts, but you were correct. The multiverse is indeed in danger. No kidding. The fact that the first threat was so quickly neutralized and replaced by an even greater threat just goes to show how many forces are constantly at work in the multiverse. We're completely unaware of them. However, some of us are a bit more unaware than others. Look, Sinestro, I get it. I'm a small pawn in the much bigger game. I know that, and sometimes it sucks, but there's always a bigger fish. Bigger fish? That's an Earth expression. There's always some of them better. None of us are really that special in the grand scheme of the multiverse, but we do what we can. We enjoy what we have, and we try to make life just a little bit better for others. Oh, for your sake, Sinestro? You see that someday. I'm not some delusional prophet, Jordan. I know there's more to life than just order and destiny. It's just been a while since I've felt anything else. Do you have a plan if things get worse? If the blackest night happens? I always have a plan. Oh, hey, are you okay? The man who slaughtered our civilizations is right there. I can see him, Nubia. I'm going to I'm going to put my trident through his heart. Arthur, he he killed the anti-monitor. And Brainiac without a sweat. We can't face him alone. Nubia, you took everything from me. No, he didn't. Your mother is still here. Your friends are still here. I'm still here. Your mother isn't here. He killed your family. Look, we all want Darkseid gone. We're gonna stop him together. You just have to be patient. I can only wait so much longer. He has to die. This is ridiculous! How many more giant bad guys can there be? Who are you? I am Necron. I am here to initiate the Blackest Night. The dead shall rise and serve me. You seek to enslave the dead? Yes. I seek to enslave the living. We have no conflict. Proceed as you wish. Excellent. That's, that's him, Sinestro. I deduce that myself, Jordan. The dead of this planet shall rise. Oh god, Sinestro, your plan, now. All lanterns, concentrate fire on Necron. I had a hunch that the combined seven energies would not be enough to defeat Necron. Alan, you can time travel, correct? Oh, you're talking to me, Mr. Sinestro? Yes, from what I understand, you can travel through time. Am I correct or mistaken? I, I mean, I've never attempted it. I don't like to- I know you don't like to meddle with time because it could disrupt the course of history, but I'm asking you to go forward in time and bring back one item. When this is all said and done, you can return it to its spot on the timeline as if it was never taken. What item? A white lantern ring. No such power ring exists yet, but the Book of Oa states that one day it will. And if the prophecies were correct about Necron, I'm hoping they were correct about this. Bring back the ring to this exact moment, and I will use it to banish Necron. Okay. I can do it. Is this it? Even death fears something. Life. Dark side. When you kill a kingdom, you must face the king for Atlantis. No, Arthur. Make 
sure they know. I died with a smile. We can, Superman. Our attacks are working. I think we can actually do this. When you kill a king, you must face his queen. saved. I need some time. I'll come back to the League, I promise, but I, I need some time. I did my job, Earthman. I want what I was promised. One Green Lantern ring. I can't give you my ring, Lark, please. Then I will be the next great threat to your world. I have one for you. You kept your green ring? After all this time? Don't get sentimental, Jordan. Hey, uh, Sinestro, I think I need to return that ring before I disrupt any timelines. I should probably go deal with that. It's been a pleasure working with you all, even the vampire. I will round up Luthor's team of convicts and send them back to their cells. Then perhaps I shall join Hal Jordan on some of his quests through the cosmos. Now that I know what threats exist, I ought to use my powers to help elsewhere in the universe. Thanks, Sean. I think the rest of us have another important task. Had a poem? Yeah. I knew a sailor, tall and strong, who set out to the sea. He said he wouldn't be too long. He'd soon return to me. But his voyage met an end, long before I hoped. No one ever found my friend. He vanished with his boat. The sailor taught me how to live. He taught me not to fear. He had so much love to give, and he left it at the pier. Like a lighthouse, he would guide lost souls back to shore. And like a wave crashing a tide, he is with the sea once more. I could use somebody who has a few answers. Ask away, Batman. The world is saved, but I still don't feel like I've done enough. There's still evil out there. You expect yourself to rid the world of all evil? No, of course not. Or maybe I do. Those are some high expectations. 
I've always felt the weight of the world on my shoulders. Like, every choice I make will either make the world a better place or a worse place, so I have to choose perfectly. But lately I've been feeling like it doesn't even matter. Inevitably, one of these days, someone like Darkseid or Necron will just take over the multiverse. It'll be consumed in darkness and nothing I did will have ever made a difference. My life will just be a footnote in the history of existence. If existence is ever taken over by darkness, it would find light again, don't you think? Sure, but even then, what's the point? Why try to do good if these cycles of darkness and light are unavoidable? On the battlefield, Hal Jordan said something quite profound. We were made to decide what we were made for. Do you agree with that? Maybe. You know, you haven't given me any answers. You've just asked me what I believe. And perhaps those are the exact answers you need, wouldn't you say? Clever. Decide for yourself, if and when, Batman is needed. The choice has been yours the whole time, Bruce. You kept them, after all these years. It's just a reminder of who I used to be. I was happier back then. It's funny, we often have everything figured out when we're young. Then the world convinces us to live another way and we find true peace when we return to who we were from the beginning. I've seen so many impossible things lately, I doubt it'll surprise me, but who are you? What's your story? So how does this story end? Well, I'll tell you what I can. The Justice League fought quite a few battles over the years. We defended Earth from countless threats. We did a lot of good. At least I think so. Atlantis is safe and thriving. I've been down there once or twice myself. Arthur would be very proud. Clark has spent the last few years going back and forth between Earth and New Krypton. Turns out he wasn't really the last of his kind. He's leading two worlds into a prosperous future. I'm happy for him. Unfortunately, the rest of the League isn't blessed with the lifespan of a Kryptonian. Some members died heroic deaths. Others left this world peacefully, in the company of family and friends. Jean traveled the cosmos searching for some deeper purpose, but he ultimately found it when he returned to Earth. He's out there somewhere, disguised as a human, living a simple life. My oldest adversaries, Black Mask and Lady Shiva, eventually decided to leave crime behind. I always knew there was good in them. It took many years, but they ended up on the right path. As for Joker, part of me feels like he never really left and in a way he never did. Dozens of criminals rose up in the image of the Joker, but none of them lasted long. I spent years expecting him to just show up and tell me his death was part of an elaborate joke. But he never did. But what about me? Did I ever feel like my work in Gotham was complete? Did I find a family outside of the League? How does my story end? Well, I'm known to keep my affairs private, but let's just say I told everyone no resurrections this time. The life I lived was enough. I saw truly wondrous things. I made a real difference. I gave and received love. And I wouldn't ask for anything more.